welcome to Chris Wrestling Views here on YouTube.com. You guys, today I'm going to be doing my WWE Hell in a Cell review. Hell in a Cell just recently went off about 35 minutes ago from my time right now. So yeah, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into the show right now. We had Natalia versus Mandy Rose in a one-on-one -on -one match for the pre-show, of course. Um, it was an okay match. I have to say the least. You guys would give it a 2.5 as a rating. Um, and so, yeah, you guys and Natalia end up winning. Second, uh, first match on the main show, you guys, we had Bianca Belair versus Bailey, which was one of my favorite matches, I have to say the least. And uh, you guys, it was like steel steps were brought into the play, kendo sticks, um, ladders, you guys, uh, using Bianca's hair as a like as a weapon, tying it uh, to ladders and chairs by Bailey. And you guys, this match was this match was one of my favorite matches of the night, you guys. But as the ending come out, we see Bianca Belair retains her title uh, by uh, hitting the KOD on Bailey to retain her title. So who is next to face Bianca Belair for her uh, SmackDown Women's Championship? Will Sasha Banks possibly um, be, you know, return and get a money in the bank of um, opportunity or something like that or will like the match between Bel Air and Banks will happen uh somewhere between now between now and in four weeks when we see the money in the uh bank pay-per-view happens so yeah you guys this match was pretty cool I have to say the least I gave it a 4.2 um because they really did tear the house down it was better than the match they had last year at um the other show yeah and then next you guys we had seth rollins versus cesaro um basically highlights of this match you guys uh rollins ends up hitting um hit in, ends up hitting cesaro with like a carrying cross uh knockout elbow so do this mean that seth rollins is basically semi calling out Cam carrying cross using his finisher i would think so you guys let me know down in the comment section on what you think about that but at the end you guys rollin pulls out all the stops uh who is Ro who is rollin's next target as well so i'm really wondering who will seth rollin's target be next after he done put over cesaro and put cesaro back in the past but rollin's end up winning like i said you guys um with the roll up because cesaro is trying to do sharpshooters and cross faces and all that other stuff you guys so yeah congratulations to rollins next you guys we had Shayna baszler versus uh alexa bliss in a one-on-one -on -one match anaya jacks and reginald was at ringside you guys and uh during this match uh alexa was trying to hypnotize reginald uh then she tried to uh hypnotize uh naya jacks Nia Jax, she ends up uh, looking into the eyes of Alexa Bliss and uh, ends up just ends up just getting hypnotized and starts screaming out of nowhere. And then that's when uh, Alexa Bliss ends up winning this uh, winning this match. But I don't think this is far from yet over with Natalia, not with Natalia, excuse me, with Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, and Reginald. This is far from over between them and Alexa Bliss. I'm wondering, will it be a match between uh, Nia Jax versus Alexa Bliss? I'm ready to see what's going to happen next. And you guys, I wonder if Liv Morgan possibly will join, um, will join uh, Alexa Bliss uh, somewhere down the line is something I'm really interested in kind of seeing because we can already see how Liv Morgan acts. She's sim sort of, kind of acts like Alexa Bliss with all the fairy tale type weird stuff, you guys. So you know what I mean. But congratulations to Alexa Bliss. We'll see what's going to happen on Monday. Next, you guys, we had Sami Zayn uh, versus um, Kevin Owens, you guys. And in this match, you guys, Sami Sami Zayn, you know he was fight, you know he was fighting, of course. Um, Kevin Owens, he he really looked banged up. Seriously, you guys, I'm like, man, what happened to Kevin Owens? What happened to the Kevin Owens we used to know? But 
Uh, Sami Zayn, you know, it looks like his uh, compa- uh, conspiracy has finally stopped and he's happy. Who is he going after next? What will happen next? What is next for Kevin Owens? So I'm really um, ready to see what's going to happen on Friday Night Smackdown later this week and see what uh, Sami Zayn will pull out next. Congratulations to Sami Zayn. Next, you guys, we have the uh, Raw Women's Championship match where we had Rhea Ripley versus... Um, charlotte flair they kind of look like sisters to me you guys as i've been telling people before and so you guys in this match right here you guys um rhea ripley you know she ended up getting her leg uh hurt um by the steel step by the hands of uh charlotte flair charlotte flair was trying to wrestle you know as be- you know as normal as she could but ends up rhea ripley ends up snatching the top of the tabletop and smacking it into the face of Charlotte. So could this possibly mean a heel turn for Rhea Ripley? And could we possibly see Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch whenever she returns and have that match? Uh, So I'm ready to see how this will happen. And uh, I'm ready to see what's going to happen tomorrow night on Monday Night Raw. And so I'm, you know, I'm very interested, you guys, in seeing if, Rhea Ripley will talk down onto the WWE Universe, which is us, and to see if that heel, if that is a, indeed a heel turn uh, by Rhea Ripley. So yeah, you guys, uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Then, you guys, we had the main event. You guys, we had the Scottish uh, psychopath Drew McIntyre versus the almighty one himself, the WWE champion Bobby Lashley, alongside with MVP on outside the hell in, in the cell, you guys. Basically, the match was like back and forth action, you guys. And uh, there was a future shot DDT um, by, Drew, dry, by Drew McIntyre. They end up knocking the referee out. Um, after then, you guys, they brought another referee in. Bobby Lashley um, ends up getting helped by MVP because MVP ends up getting locked inside the hell in the cell with Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley and held the leg of Drew McIntyre and, you know, end up getting rolled up by um, Bobby Lashley. So Drew McIntyre doesn't get another WWE uh, title shot as long as Bobby Lashley is champion. So you guys, um, I'm wondering where is Drew going to go to next? Is he going to go to SmackDown? Uh, What will happen, you guys? Let me know your thoughts thoughts and opinions and all that good stuff and you guys um give me a rating of one out of one out of ten of this show uh you guys i only can rate one match which was which was the bianca belair and uh bailey match which was which was one of my favorites thanks for watching chris rush views here on youtube.com